It's 31 and new this morning. Almost 13 million people are unemployed due to the pandemic, according to the U.S. Department of Labor. And with that, many have also lost their health insurance through their employer. WGEM's Isabella Rossi is live in Quincy this morning to explain the important deadline that is fast approaching. Isabella, good morning. Good morning, Natalie. Health insurance is something that people often think they might not be able to afford on their own, but health insurance agents that I spoke to here at O'Brien Insurance in Quincy say that people are often surprised by just how affordable their options can be. They say usually the insurance option that you have through your job is the best deal, but health insurance prices are based on income. So if you lose a job or your job doesn't offer insurance, you can usually find something that works for you and your family. If your income fits within a certain category, you can pay a lot less. I have people that pay as little as a dollar to people that are paying $1,200. Agents also say when it comes to traditional health insurance plans, there's no stipulation for pre-existing conditions. So companies can't deny a person if they have had COVID-19 or other medical issues. And for more information on your coverage options, you can find all of this information on our website at WGEM.com. Live in Quincy, I'm Isabella Rossi, WGEM News. Isabella, thank you very much. And here's some more information on this story. The deadline for open enrollment for most health insurance providers, December 15th, so about two weeks. Agents say it's important to start looking soon or contact an agent to help you out.